Today we will talk about the PPIUCD in session. What is PPIUCD? Post-placental IUCD insertion is the insertion of an intrauterine device in the endometrial cavity shortly after the delivery of placenta. What is immediate PPIUCD or post-placental PPIUCD? It is termed as immediate when inserted within 10 minutes of delivery of placenta. What is early PPIUCD? It is called early PPIUCD when it is inserted within less than 48 hours of the delivery. What is post cesarean section PPIUCD? During cesarean section, after the removal of placenta, IUCD is placed in the uterus before closing the uterine stitch line. What is interval IUCD? It is placed just after any menstrual cycle or after four weeks of a normal vaginal delivery. What are the commonly used types of copper IUCDs? Those include, first of all, Novati Copper 200 which provides the contraception for about three years. By CU200 means that it has got 200 millimeters squared of the copper wire wound around its stem. Next type is that of the multi-load CU375 with the brand name of Product 5 by the Green Star and it provides contraception for about five years. It is called CU375 because it has 375 millimeters square of the copper wire wound around its stem. Another example is Safe Load CU380 which provides a contraception for about 10 years. Another example is Pregna CU380 which provides contraception for 10 years. What are the contraindications of PPIUCD insertions? Those include pregnancy, allergy to copper, current or recurrent PID. Abnormal uterine bleeding, sexually transmitted infections, postpartum endometritis, cervical or endometrial carcinoma, and the molar pregnancy. Let us talk about the procedure of insertion of PPIUCD. The procedure starts with introduction. First of all, I will introduce myself to the patient. After studying the detailed patient clinical notes, I will congratulate her on the birth of her baby. I will rule out any contraindications to PPIUCD insertion by taking medical, gynecological and surgical history of the patient. I will explain the procedure to the patient with associated risks and complications and take an informed consent. I will check the instrument trolley PPIUCD to insert with expiry date and seal and the integrity of the seal. I will empty the patient bladder with the patient in dorsal position. I will complete the active management of the third stage of labor. Under aseptic measures, I will do by manual examination to assess the size, position and mobility of the uterus. I will insert the Cusco speculum to visualize the cervix. I will clean the cervix and vagina twice with povidone iodine solution. I will grasp the anterior lip of the cervix with the ring forcer. I will open the IUCD package, remove the applicator and insert it from the package and leave IUCD inside the package. I will hold IUCD with the placental forceps inside its packing. Then comes the insertion of IUCD in the uterine cavity. I will insert forceps with IUCD to cervix up to lower uterine cavity avoid touching the vagina then i will place hand on the suprapubic area fingers towards the fundus then i will gently push the uterus upward to straighten the uterine cavity then i will move the placental forcep with iucd upward following the contour of the uterine cavity until the fundus of the uterus is reached then I will open and slightly tilt forceps inward to release IUCD at the fundus. Then by keeping the uterus stabilized, I will slowly sweep the forcep along the side of the wall of the uterus. I will ensure IUCD threads are not visible at the cervical os. I will withdraw the speculum gently, wash my hands and help the patient to reposition and dress up. I will say thanks to the patient for cooperation and give instructions to the patient and reply to her concerns. 
so that was uh, all about the procedure of insertion now i will discuss the mechanism of action of PPISD. isd works by inhibiting fertilization by direct toxicity an inflammatory reaction with an endometrium can also have anti-implantation effect so it works by preventing implantation and lastly it affects the cervical mucus so basically the copper is toxic to the ovum and sperms and the copper content of cervical mucus inhibits sperm penetration so this is how the PPIUCD prevents the pregnancy next comes the advantages and benefits of PPIUCD first of all it is long acting reversible contraceptive method Secondly, it is a cost-effective method. Thirdly, it is a hormone-free method of contraception. Moreover, it is immediately effective method. It has got lower failure rate and it can be used by the patients with the medical disorders. And it requires no daily compliance. What are the disadvantages of PPIs? First of all, it has the drawback of spontaneous expulsion secondly it can cause the uterine perforation in some patients thirdly uh, it gives no protection against the sexually transmitted infection moreover it can cause the irregular vaginal bleeding and it can result in painful menstruation and it requires the healthcare provider for its insertion and removal so that was all about PPIUCD. I would like to complete my presentation with this quote. Life is like waterfall. It is always moving and there is always an uneven flow to it. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.